Hello, my name is Harry and welcome to this uh, screencast in which I'll be taking a quick look at the 4191A impedance analyzer. This is a machine dating from the 80s by Hewlett Packard. Um, you may be more familiar with the stable companion, the, the 4192A, which is the auto balance bridge um, at a frequency range of 5 Hz to 13 MHz. Well, the 4191A uh, was an early, effectively, it's a one port vector network analyzer. Uh, frequency range was 1 meg to 1000 megs, and um, it could output data over the GPIB bus to a computer or indeed to a, it had analog outputs to drive a, a plotter so you could come away with a paper Smith chart. Now in this series of videos I'll be looking at how to extract the data from the machine and extract that over GPIB and uh, display that in a program uh, called Zplots which is an Excel program uh, that's available and has been provided by Dan McGuire. So firstly a thumbs up to Dan McGuire for his excellent Zplots. Um, if you're unfamiliar with controlling instruments over GPIB from within Excel, I can recommend a series of videos posted by the Keysight engineers. If you search YouTube for Visual Basic from Excel, you'll uh, come across these links and they've also been kind enough to post the example code so you can download the code and follow along. Um, they're using the um, Agilent Library Suite uh, version 16.3 which you can get from the archive. Okay, um, the the analyzer comes with a number of test fixtures, and also is another example of the test fixtures available, and also the calibration standards for the machine. If you're intending to work with the machine, it's important you obtain as many of these as possible, as they um, to obtain the uh, the accuracy of the machine, you really need to be working with these sort of test fixtures. There's a very write-up on the machine in the Hewlett Packard Journal of January, January 1980, uh, available online. Again, these links will be in the description below. Um, it's a good introduction and uh, gives you the background to the machine and also an indication of the type of uh, accuracy you can expect from the machine. Okay, so uh, that, that's a brief introduction to the to the machine and what we hope to achieve. Um, in the next video I'll introduce you to the control software that's, that, that's driven from within Excel. Uh, so I'll speak to you in the next video. Take care.